In this video I'm going to show you how to create a motion tween in Adobe Flash. Um, we'll be creating something similar to what you can see on your screen right now, where we have a little bee that flies on, stops with a couple of flowers before leaving our stage again. Okay, so you're probably used to using classic tweens to make things move around on your stage. Today I'm going to show you the motion tween and how simple it is to move things around on a certain path on your stage. So let's get into Flash make ourselves a new Action Script 3 file. And we'll begin today by changing layer 1 to background. That's going to be the name of our layer. And we're going to begin by grabbing our rectangle tool and drawing a rectangle on the stage. We do not want a stroke for this. And the fill color can be any color for now. Okay. So we're going to go up to our color box at the top. And we're going to change it from a solid color to a linear gradient. And what I want you to choose is some bluish colors. So some lightish colored blues. So it looks like the sky. Try and avoid those fluoro colors. They do look a bit fake. I think that looks pretty good. And with that um, rectangle on my stage, I'm going to grab my free transform tool, hold down shift, and just off one of the corners I'm going to click and drag and just rotate that rectangle and I'm just going to move it into place and make it the exact size of my stage if you've got snapping turned on it should snap into place see how that looks, that's pretty good just need to hit that last bit a little bit there we go try not to go any bigger than your stage um, I think that looks pretty good. So that's our sky for our background. In the sky we might throw in a sun, so I'll grab the oval tool. Make sure I've got object drawing mode turned on. So it's separate from the background. And I'm just going to draw a sun on my stage there. Okay, at the moment it's got bluish colors which blend in with the background, so we can go to our color panel at the top and change that. And we want some yellows and oranges. Okay, so pick some colors that suit the sun. Might make it a radial gradient as well. Okay, that's a decent enough sun. And to draw some clouds in, I'm going to use the brush tool. So grab your paintbrush, make your color white. And if you just draw some circular shapes on the stage, just group them together there, you'll see that Flash will automatically smooth out the edges and make them look like little clouds. Hey, you only want two or three of those, otherwise it's going to look a bit dodgy. Um, if you would like, you could draw some green hills in the background. I'm not going to bother with that today. Um, you just use the line tool or the rectangle tool and just bend some lines in to get those hilly kind of shapes. That's up to you if you want to put them in. The last thing I want to put on this background is a flower. Okay, and in Curriculum Drive you'll find the picture of this flower. So what you need to do is trace that. So I'm going to lock the background layer for the time being. Make myself two more new layers. One's going to be called Original. And one's going to be called Flower. Okay, so I want you to drag that original flower from Curriculum Drive into Flash and just dump it onto the original layer and lock it into place. Now you can go to your Flower layer and trace that for me. I'll pause the video while I trace this flower and come back once I have finished tracing. Okay, back again and as you can see I've traced my flower and I've converted it to a symbol. So by going to the modify menu and converting to symbol, I converted it into a graphic. Okay, it's not being animated this flower so we can just convert it to a graphic. One other thing you can do once you've got this flower if you'd like, you can cut and paste it onto your background layer and just lock it into place. I might just leave mine on the flower layer for now. I'm going to put one flower there. I'm going to copy it and paste. And I'll put a second flower in. Using my free transform tool, I'll just make that other flower a little bit smaller. Okay, so you should have two different sized flowers that pretty much look the same on your stage. And when you do, lock them into place. Finally, we'll add two more new layers. 
Again, we're going to have an original layer, and above that we'll have a B layer. And what we're going to do now is trace the B from Curriculum Drive. So we get that B, drag it out of Curriculum, drop it into Flash, and I'll lock that original layer into place. Now I can go to my B layer and trace that B. Okay, I'll just pause the video again while I do that, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so as you can see now, I've traced my B, and I've converted it to a symbol as a movie clip. Because we are animating this B, I do want it to be a movie clip. Just make it a bit smaller, move it off to the side of your stage. So we're going to get the B to start out of the screen, and then he's going to fly onto the screen, so onto the stage. Alrighty, so to animate this B, what I'd like to do first of all is get my flower and my background stretched out all the way to frame 100. So on my flower layer, I'm going to go up to frame 100 and press F5 to insert a blank frame. And do the same for the background. So at the moment, our animation is 100 frames long. With the B layer, I want you to go to frame 1 and right click on it and just create a motion tween. And what we're going to do is go to about frame 25 and press F6. That puts in a keyframe. So between frame 1 and frame 25, we're going to animate this B. At frame 1, the B starts off the stage. That's our beginning frame. At frame 25, we're going to end the first part of the animation. And he's going to stop right on top of that first flower. So on frame 25, make sure your B is on that first flower. Okay, so frame 1, off the stage, frame 2, oh sorry, frame 25 on the stage here. Then I'm going to go to about frame 45 and press F6. Between those frames, I don't want any animation, I just want the bee to sit there, just chill at that flower. Okay, from frame 45 to frame, mm, let's say 65, press F6. Between 45 and 65, we want that B to move up to that flower. And we might let him sit there for a while, so I'll go to frame 85. Just press F6 to put another keyframe in. So between frame 65 and 85, our B will be sitting there doing nothing. And then to finish off with, between frame 85 and 100, I'll just press F6 on 100. We're going to move the B off the stage. Okay, so if I press Control Enter now, we should have a B that pretty much flies across our stage, following that little path we just created. He's moving pretty quick, but you can get the idea of what he's doing. Flies on, stops, stops again, and flies off. Okay, it's a bit hard to see, so I might zoom in here so you can see it, but attached to my B is a small blue path. Okay, you can just see, that's the path he's following. You can see it a bit clearer on that flower there does blend in with my background a bit, so it's hard to see that path, but there is a path there, and if you look closely on your screen, you'll have one of those as well. And if you'd like to change the direction of that path, for example, if I grab my black arrow here, and hover over that blue path, my, oops, I'll click back on the B, my mouse will change, and I'm able to bend that path. So it takes more of a loopy, loopy path as he's flying around. So now when I run my animation, we'll have a look at the bee going on a bit of a loopy path. Okay, you can barely see it, but it does look a little bit more realistic instead of just flying in a directly straight line. He's moving pretty quick too, this bee, so what I might do is change the frame rate. At the moment it's 24 frames per second. Might nudge it down to about, oh, we'll go about 17 frames per second. Let's test that now, it should go in a little bit slower. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So that's your finished animation um, with the motion tween. You can save that now into your account. One other thing you could try if you wanted to, um, doesn't always work for me, but if you click back on frame number one on the B layer, you see an option in your properties box called Orient to Path. And if all things go to plan, this B's head will follow the path and actually look towards where he's going. I'll just press Control Enter and see if that's actually worked. Yeah, there he goes. 
can look a little bit dodgy with all the loops um, that I've got. You see that he starts to fly down and his head will go down. And then as he goes up, his head will start to face up as well. So that's just another option you can choose if you want. You can choose Orient to Path, and that will just make the bee turn the way the path is. Okay, so that's all I've got to show you about motion twins today. Um, try and draw, once you finish this one, from Curriculum Drive, you should have a picture of a helicopter. I'd like you to draw a helicopter that flies across the stage using a motion twin. So that's your second task today. Remember to put in a background layer and draw some cool backgrounds in. So think about the sky and what's on the land below. You might draw a city scene or something and have the helicopter following a motion twin that goes over the top of your ground scene. Have fun with that.